Hey y'all, what's up? It's your old Kirsten from Pat the Summit LLC, a virtual project management firm that sets up PMOs, provides PM staffing and guidance, and builds out awesome project management software that's custom to organizational need. Today, we're gonna go over how to set up dependencies in monday.com. We all know that project dates can change and that some tasks can't start before others finish, right? By setting up dependencies, we can update our project's timing to reflect those realistic project dating changes without updating each task's date manually. This feature saves a ton of time and is pretty painless to implement. Let's hop to it. Using our PTS client offboarding template, let's set up some dependencies. There are certain tasks within this offboarding project that need to be completed in a specific order. And that's what dependencies are going to help you with here. First, we need to make sure that there's either a date or a timeline column. If not, click on the plus sign right here to add one. Next, let's add the dependency column by clicking on the plus sign, choosing more columns, scrolling down and choosing the dependency column. Once we choose this column type, another pop-up menu appears asking us to choose the dependency mode. Let's talk about these three different dependency modes. Choosing flexible will change downstream dependent tasks dates only if they overlap. This option is honestly more realistic in project management as often we need to delay one task, but are still on the hook for getting the others completed within the same time frame. Choosing strict as the dependency mode will affect all of the task dates that are downstream and dependent on the task date that has changed. If we move one task date by two days, every single task that's dependent on that will move by two days as well. If we choose no action, that means that you can shift things around all you want and dependent tasks won't change dates automatically whatsoever. We're ready to organize our dependencies by going through each task and choosing what it is dependent on. Pro tip, every single task doesn't necessarily need to be dependent on something else getting done. I'm going to set up some of my dependencies right now. Next, let's add a Gantt view onto our project to make moving dates around a little bit easier. Next to the main table, click on the plus side and let's go ahead and choose Gantt. Here's how the timeline shifts when we have the dependency settings set to strict. Notice how I moved one task date and all of the subsequent tasks that depend on this task have also moved the equal amount of days. If I move it back, the equal shift will happen to those tasks that are dependent as well. When the dependency settings are set to flexible, I can move one date and the rest of the task dating is still intact unless I overlap with a dependent task. Notice how I moved this task, but this task is dependent on. If I overlap, it now moves that dependent task out. With no action as my dependency column setting, I can move task dates and big changes freely without any automatic movements of dependent tasks. When I need to come in and do some contingency planning, I like to set my dependency settings to no action so I can just mess around and see what we could do. Going back and forth between settings is super easy. Just click on the ellipses in the dependency column header, choose settings, and choose customize dependency column. This way you can go back and forth between whichever settings you would like. Pro tip, make sure to restrict column edit for both the dependency column and the dating column. We don't want project team members to be able to change the dates and accidentally disrupt the project plan. You can do that by clicking on the ellipses by the due date, choosing settings and restrict column edit. This can be done for both the dependency column as well as the due date column. Have questions? Comment below. We actually respond. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our Path to Summit channel for more project management tips, tricks, and software tutorials.